Hello ladies and lads, all back here today with another uh, Minecraft video and in today's video I'm actually doing something a little different because this is for a Phoenix Craft Discord challenge. Uh, so I will leave a link to the Phoenix Craft Discord down below and uh, yeah. So uh, the theme for this was uh, medieval and I know that the judges uh, the, 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 judge or judges are going to be watching this. Uh, so the theme was medieval and I have tried to implement everything as well as I can with this huge medieval tower build that has taken me hours. Uh, these three signs have the uh, exact measurements. 48 blocks tall, 24-ish blocks wide, and 23-ish blocks long. Well, maybe not exact. Uh, so from far away, it just looks like a stone tower with a dragon on it. But as we get closer, you can see the sheer amount of detail that I've put into this. Um, and yeah, the fantasy element of having the dragon here. I'm not exactly the best with dragon heads, so I just went with this. Um, and uh, it's, it's sort of lizard-like. Uh, you can see that uh, underneath where the feet are, there are cracked stone bricks. I'm very sad that there is no cracked stone brick half slab because I would have definitely used that. Uh, and yeah, so these parts where it's kind of going up into the foot, uh, I'd like to imagine that he uh, that the dragon is simply uh, clawing up the uh, stone bricks and whatnot. And uh, if this doesn't look cool enough on the outside uh, and whatnot, and I'm just gonna do a little quick panoram. Uh, around here. I did actually do an interior. Yes, that is right. I, that, that side looks kind of blank, but we don't look at the back sides of things, right? <laughs> um, so I did just this uh, small little front area, uh, and yeah. And as we go ahead and enter into here, I'm actually going to go ahead and do this just to make things look a lot uh, cooler. So as we enter in, uh, we can go ahead and see that this is kind of a lounge area. And uh, we have a little sofa right here, a little black sofa uh, with a little uh, campfire. I'll go over the, red, uh, the redstone bits that have been implemented in uh, in just a little bit. Uh, well, uh, yes, <laughs> uh, um, after I'm done showing off the interior. So let's start over here with the hardest staircase uh, that I've ever done in my life because of the weird shape of the... <laughs> Of this uh, we go up here this uh, little uh, stairway into a little kind of uh, uh, writing room uh, so we, if you get that reference uh, you understand it yes um, and yeah uh, and up here through this other very wonky thing uh, we can have a little lookout tower and we can see the dragon's uh, foot uh, right there and yeah we can just kind of uh, look out and uh, kind of see uh, where everything is and whatnot, and well, not where everything is. We can we can see the outside world. Uh, we can see the signs, um, and yeah. Um, so, uh, hmm, looks like none of the other blocks in the pallet made it into this room. I know there's uh, a lot of them on the outside, but you can see andesite and whatnot. Uh, I used a gray build pallet, uh, which may seem very hard, but there's actually quite the variety. Uh, we're gonna go over this way next, over past this little small library area, into a greenery room. Uh, kind of like a, uh, just a little green room. You can see that I used uh, mossy stone bricks, and I added in a, uh, I added in a potted plant right here, a uh, uh, dark oak wood uh, sapling right there, and to go higher, uh, we have to climb some vines, uh, which is pretty nice, into a little potion brewery area with a nice uh, tall kind of uh, skyline uh, thing. I hate it when Minecraft does those noises. Uh, so basically, one of the back feet is, uh, as you can see, kind of grabbing onto this, so I kind of made it seem like, oh, it's about to break and whatnot. Uh, but you can see that we have, uh, you know, wither rose, we have some barrels for storage, we have the actual brewing thing, and we have a cauldron because you always need a cauldron in a brewing room <laughs> uh, so uh, now we're gonna go this way 
Uh, and up here we have a little bit of a guards uh, room and I'll go over why there's a guards room right here. So you know he, he has his little uh, table that he can uh, do guard things at and he has a little chair as well. Uh, some, uh, some more storage and then we've got uh, the suit of armor right here that I chose netherite. There's also the sword uh, and I just position it uh, like this just to make it easier. Um, up here we have a prison, a little, little, little tiny little prison room uh, that has a little pot up there and then we got a small little bed. Alright, moving down, uh, we've got uh, the final set of towers which is going up this way. Uh, we've got a nice, uh, another little uh, book, uh, uh, like a little library area. Since this is a wizard's tower, obviously everything is going to look all wonky and whatnot, and that's kind of the point because magic is wonky. Uh, going up here, we have a small little kitchen with some furnaces. We got a uh, cauldron right here, we have a cutting board, and then we have uh, barrels up above. And this right here is supposed to represent uh, meat hanging uh, from above. Uh, don't ask. <laughs> um, up here we have the very wonky and very disorientating uh, uh, bedroom and there's supposed to be like a block right here. Strange. Anyways, uh, we got two things of storage. We have the uh, wizard's actual bed right there and then going up here we have just a massive storage room uh, with a lot of floating stuff because wizard, magic, stuff like that. And then going all the way up here, uh, we have the final writing room, and uh, yeah, it's meant to be kind of like peaceful, quiet and whatnot. You can see from the highest point, you can see a bit of the dragon's wing right there, uh, and yeah, the uh, the wizard can just place down a book and just kind of uh, either read or write uh, and whatnot. Uh, and now it is time to head all the way down. Uh, over to the redstone bits. Oh boy! <laughs> um, so I'm really proud of the fireplace one because this can put it out and then it can light it back on fire. Yeah! Just a bunch of button presses and uh, yeah, I, I, I found that really cool and it was the simplest of things <laughs> uh, to do. Uh, heading out this way, there's still one more bit of redstone, and it's actually on the dragon. There's this button right here. That one's pressed. Oh. Whoops. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> uh, once pressed, it spits out with some fire charges. Uh, so, yeah. Um, and yeah, this is just kind of like the uh, much higher view. You can see that the tail is wrapping around the tower. Uh, I added in a bunch of detail here. I'm just kind of pointing things out because it's kind of hard to see from very far away. Uh, and yeah, so uh, I've added in just so much detail uh, in uh, into this build. Uh, and as a matter of fact, for the little window thing right here, I used dark oak to kind of make it blend in and kind of uh, be part of the actual uh, spire right there. So anyways, uh, that is actually all for the challenge video and if the judges want a uh want to look at some bits uh then uh they just need to tell me uh what exactly they want a much closer look at and uh where and uh yeah that is going to be all for the video for today guys and gals ladies and lads and i shall see you all later bye